Going East by Frances Harper. She came from the East, a fair young bride, with a light and a bounding heart, to find in the distant West a home with a husband to make a start. He built his cabin far away where the prairie flower bloomed white. Her love made lighter all his toil and joy and hope around him smiled. She plied her hands to life's homely task and helped to build his fortunes up, while joy and grief, like bitter and sweet, were mingled and mixed in a cup. He sowed in his fields of golden grain all the strength of his manly prime. No music or birds, no brooks, no bees was as sweet as the dollar's chime. She toiled and waited for weary years for the fortune that came at length. By toil and care and hope deferred had stolen and wasted her strength. The cabin changed to a stately home, which carpets were hushed her treat. But light was fading from her eye and the bloom from her cheek had fled. Slow and heavier grew his step while his gold and his gains increased, but his proud domain had not the charm of a humble home in the east. Then her eye was a restless light, and a yearning that never ceased, a longing to see the dear old home she had left in the distant east, a longing to clasp her mother's hand and nestle close to her heart, and to feel the heavy cares of life like the sun-kissed shadows depart. Her husband was adding field to field a new wealth to his golden store, and little thought the shadow of death was entering in at his door. He had no line to sound the depths of her tears repressed and unshed. No dream that plenty human heart could be starving, but not for bread. The hungry heart was stilled at last, its restless, baffled yearning cheesed. A lonely man sat by a bray of a corpse that was going east. 